And just about everyone is feeling the impact of smoke from the wildfires. And as you just mentioned, the tiny particles that cause the thick, unhealthy haze can especially be harmful to some. That's right. News Channel Line's Ashley Cafaro shows us what mentor ambulance paramedics in Fulton are dealing with because of the smoke. Calls coming in, paramedics going out. We noticed that we had a lot more calls in the early morning and even more so in the afternoon with the breathing problems. Many left their windows open last night and woke up to this, haze and the smell of smoke, all stemming from the Canadian wildfires causing health concerns. If you have a pre-existing breathing, you know, uh, condition, uh, it's only going to make it worse. There are things called irritants. So things such as, say, the wildfire smoke or the haze can only make that worse. And it did, especially for people with asthma, COPD, and even allergies. We find more in the elderly population. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes those, those, those people don't always call when they should. And they kind of wait, hoping to see if it's going to get better. But Mentor Ambulance says you should never wait, especially with the current air quality. I believe earlier it was 166. So it's been almost an hour since then, and it's gone up to 173. We also have the young people, right, the, the, the young kids that are, are very much at risk as well. And Mentor Ambulance expects calls to continue tonight into tomorrow and are prepared to take on the challenge. We have a good flow of uh, EMTs coming into the service here, so that helps us to have a good and full and complete staffing. Helping paramedics keep up with the high volume of calls, especially on busy days. There's another call coming in. <laughs> and if you aren't feeling well, don't wait. If you have pre-existing breathing problems and you feel like a shortness of breath or a tightness in your chest or you just can't catch your breath, that you probably should call 911. Working to keep neighbors safe. In Fulton, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9. As of right now, Mentor Ambulance is not calling in extra paramedics, but they are always on standby if they need them.